Hello my soul family, how are you all? Hope you are doing great, happy and healthy. Before getting into the video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel so that you motivate me in bringing out the sacred content which would activate your DNA. Okay, so current energies, how things are going on. So since few days or if you did not uh, understand Telugu, I'm really sorry. I made a Navratri video of Lalita, you know, Lalita Navratris and I already uh, told so many things in that video uh, which uh, about the complete energies of uh, uh, the month of March and also April 8th and all those things but uh, I couldn't make that video in English I'm sorry for that because at that time I was going through my own DNA activations I uh, somehow I you know collected a lot of energy and I you know used that energy to to make that video and I ended up making it in Telugu uh, but um, that is an important video it's okay no problem next year at the same time I'll make the video again in English okay so uh, during that phase during that time I was uh, going through my own DNA activations and as I already told in that video who those who can understand Telugu so I was going through my DNA activations during that time I was awakening okay and I also received my own divine key okay divine key to activate my signals target okay to activate the signals target so I did activate signals target during that time so I was going through my awakenings and DNA activations because of that and I was uh, as you can see in the picture okay this was a key in the sky which I uh, got from divine and I was uh, you know continuously doing a lot of work to reach to that level and to activate the Cygnus target and I did successfully activate the Cygnus target uh, so I got this divine key and I al already accessed the Cygnus target system and I already accessed the swan races and I have been through the Milky Way and all these things like I have experienced uh, the Milky Way and I reached to that level Milky Way swan star targets, signals targets, signals raises and I already made uh, some videos about everything uh, which I wanted to speak out okay so I al already made four videos of signals target system and if you did not watch that please go watch that I have made all those videos in English so that everybody can understand those things okay so coming back to this April 19th to May 13th why this time what ha will happen in this time how the energies are going to be in uh, during this time we'll talk about that so I have already told in my signals target uh, star signals constellation video also that uh, when you access this target when you connect with the swans energies and when you connect with these energy when signal star system you will help the planet collectively in healing those blessed sacrifice rituals okay abuses all kinds of abuses be it physical mental or any kind of abuse okay so i have already told about those things in my signals targets consolation video you can go watch those videos i'm not going to repeat them here and also you will uh, help uh, the planet earth in bringing those swan templates okay new signals grid uh, to planet earth because as you already know that most of the grids which gardens have made those those grids and those you know in the shapes of different different animal uh, animals okay they have already got hijacked and you know, by the dark forces and now they are under control of dark process and forces and they are completely damaged now okay so what uh, we are doing here has a star seed okay you are incarnating here on earth it's a your main mission your main purpose you are born for that okay to repair all these grids all these grids all the lion grids okay uh, so so that you can repair these grids all the what are the things which are hijacked by the dark forces you have to take back the control from them you have to maintain the balance you have to repair those grids and to make them into the or again and you have to make those grids has organic grids okay not the hijacked manipulated control grids okay that's the reason why that is the main reason why you are born here on earth this is your main purpose main mission your soul mission that is why you're born here on earth to establish that balance to bring back the organic timelines the to repair those grids okay to repair all the hijacked grids grids into the organic grids okay how they were made uh, has organic has natural as they are made uh, by the guardians by the divine okay so how uh, they were made originally you have to uh, you have to bring back that authenticity that originality you have to remove that all the distortions you have to clear out all those distortions so that uh, those the divine energy can flow in those grids okay uh, divine had made those grids had, had gave those template templates to us in the form of different different animals so that uh, it, it it also 
so that it can represent the divine uh, nature so that it can bring back the divine consciousness uh, so that those grid can carry the divine consciousness so that if we are in those grids we can communicate and access the divine energy uh, from those grids that's why they, those grids are made but unfortunately it got hijacked by these dark forces and now it's your mission that is why you're born uh, that is why you are born as a twin flame that is one why you are a twin flame star seed so that you can repair all these grids you can bring back all the things into again back to its organic nature okay so here i have already talked about those grids and the signal star system and again and in future also i'm going to make some more videos about the grids and all those things and we are going to get a new swan template a swan grid okay it is going to cover a lot of countries and when you start when divine will uh, start to establish the swan grid and new swan template onto the planet earth we are going to repair so many things on earth we are going to heal and cleanse and clear all all the distortions all the hijacked parts all the darkness from the planet earth and we are going to bring in and throw all the light all that we can uh, you know throw the light and emit that light in even in the darkest of the places when this one grid comes okay so this was about signal start uh, gate and signal constellation you can uh, watch those videos for uh, much more information uh, clearly so <clears throat> this mesh rashi this mesh rashi or aries what is this mesha rashi you if you are an indian or if you are a hindu you we call it as a mesha rashi right mesha rashi means uh, there is one rashi uh, i'm sorry i don't know much astrology but i am trying my best to put it out in a correct way okay so in that rashi it that uh, that the shape of it it looks like a goat okay it have some goat kind of horns okay and that is mesha mesha means that goat or lamb or whatever you want to call it so uh, it is of that shape okay it is of that shape that is mesha rashi and this mesha rashi every particular rashi in hindu this thing okay aries okay in, in hindu um, according to hindu knowledge uh, every month okay there are some particular timings of some months okay that month will fall under this rashi okay so like that only same aries is falling under april 19th to may 13th okay so from april 19th to may 13th the the entire or the all this entire timing will fall under mesh rashi aries rashi okay so what why i am talking about this why this is important because this is the best time this is the best time for your purification this is the best time so that you can cleanse heal and clear all those distortions all that blood sacrifice all that blood rituals all that abuses so it is the best time to cleanse and clear all these things that is why this is the best time for purification your own purification so uh, those of you who kundalini is already awakened okay now you're in during this time your kundalini might be more active okay so if you do correct inner work if you do correct um, uh, spiritual work or inner work or shadow work then you can feel that your kundalini will be active during these times from april 19 to may 13 your kundalini will be active and you can feel intense heat within you because whenever we know that when kundalini rises it it also you know gives us that heat okay that we we our body temperatures might be you know we might feel very very um, hot okay uh, and all and also this time is a summer time right already the, the weather and outside weather and temperature it is already hot from april 19th and april and may these are the summer months right so the temperature and weather is already hot outside and also your own personal uh, spiritual work in a work or shadow work whatever you are doing or kundalini activation process whatever you are doing it is also is going to bring a lot of heat okay so this is the best time to uh, he, with that fire with that inner fire with that inner heat you can burn all that which is distorted within you okay you can burn all that which is dark within you so you can cleanse and clear your entire self your your physical self your spiritual self your etheric self your energetic self whatever self you want to call it your all body so it is a best time to purify yourself okay this mesh rashi this aries thing is why i don't know why that they kept that goat or lamb symbol but what does what it is showing us to clear it, that that symbol is showing us to clear all that thing that lamb or all those things you know the the uh, there is one uh, uh, you know entity its name is moles right m o l o c h something so he is the dark 
identity so he is what is his main purpose he is a cloned and darkest form of uh, identity right so he is a dark being dark entity what he what he does he does uh, this all this uh, okay his energy is like that he uh, is uh, uh, making the uh, planet uh, in be in those blood sacrifice rituals he is helping the planet like he is uh, making the planet in being um, in that blood sacrifice rituals and you know abuses all kind of abuses and child abuses and all those things so he is that uh, that kind of energy that the dark entity who is promoting all these things and who is throwing all these things onto the planet so what we are we have to do has a divine feminine or divine masculine what we have to do we have to cleanse and clear all these things uh, from a personal level also from the collective level also so when you do your own healing work when you activate your own dna when you clear all these things at a personal level you will you are also helping to clear all this out from the collective also so you are indirectly stopping that dark entity who is trying to promote and who is trying to bring that blood sacrifice energies that child abuse energies that sexual abuse energies that mental abuse energies onto the planet so if you want to stop him if you want to do this mission sacred mission on earth for which you are born you have to heal yourself you have to cleanse yourself purify yourself you have to activate your kundalini you have to activate your dna you can only stop this person uh, by doing whatever he this dark entity by, uh, by for doing whatever he is doing by activating your dna this is the only mantra this is the only open secret you uh, the more you awaken the more you activate yourself the more you are activating your dna the more you are carrying those high frequency codes you the more uh, dna you activate the more divine essence will flow from you so the energies will come uh, come to you the more you are the conduit conduit of those divine energies you are the conduit of those divine frequencies the more you embody those frequencies the more you carry those frequencies you are spreading out those frequencies and you are dropping those divine codes onto the planet earth also so you are healing the planet earth also you are carrying the divine codes within you you are healing your personal life you are healing yourself and also you are helping mother earth to heal so when you carry all those divine frequencies when you activate your dna when you raise your consciousness you are helping mother earth to raise her vibration too okay you are helping mother earth in cleansing using all those blood sacrifices and those blood blood rituals and all those things also so uh, by this way you are helping planet earth and has collectively also you are working and personally also you are working so all you have to do is from april 19th to may 13th uh, try to purify yourself as much as possible try to activate your dna this is the best time to activate your dna and when i was receiving all these downloads okay about aries and mesh rashi uh, before in the starting i did not understand what is happening why i am being shown all these things so i did not understand all these things but when i searched about aries okay when i searched about aries so i uh, i saw that hanuman ji okay hanuman god hanuman and uh, again surya god surya and god ram okay all these beings all these divine beings hanuman surya ram and shiva also okay these divine masculine archetypes are divine gods okay these uh, people are are connected to aries okay they have the energy that fire energy aries doesn't only mean that symbol okay that symbol means that we have to clear out that symbol okay oh, that goat symbol is there why it is there because we have to clear out that, that thing it is it is doesn't mean that okay we are aries we we have to use that goat symbol no it is the opposite of what you have to do okay so that goat symbol is representing that you have you have to clear out those things and all these beings will help you in clearing out those things because aries is a fiery energy okay it is it is a fire element okay so it is fire element fire element means what all these divine beings who i just uh, 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 named okay hanuman ji or ram or or uh, this surya surya bhagwan or the sun's energy so all these energies are fiery energies so shiva energy shiva's energy so all these divine masculines represent fire energy sun's energy within them so you can work with them you can connect with them so when you activate the sun's energies within you it is a fiery energy okay sun brings intense heat right sun heats and sun purifies when you work with the sun's energy sun will help in purifying yourself okay sun will help so with the sun's heat with that fire with uh, with that fire you can uh, cleanse out things okay you can burn all the darkness in that fire you can burn all the all the darkness and densities in um, when you uh, are exposed to the sun rays okay sun uh, will bring that and sun will help you sun's energies and fire energies will help in cleansing out all those things and help in burning out all those things which are not necessary for you in your personal level 
at your collector level at your energetic level or at your goddess or god archetype or whatever you want to call it so in every level you can work with the sun's energy fire's energy okay you can use fire element okay you can use um I already made so many videos about sun also recently. So now I am understanding why I made those videos before. I just flowed with whatever uh, divine was making me flow with. I, I just flowed and very beautifully. Uh, now I am understanding all the puzzles are joining now very beautifully. So recently I made so many videos about sun's energy also. At that time I was just doing it. Now I am understanding why I did those videos. If you want to watch those videos and how to activate your sun's energies within you. You can go watch those videos also. I made so many videos about sun's energy okay so the sun's energy was already active within me and i was working uh, with the sun's energy ram's energy okay rama's energy so you can connect with these gods okay shiva rama or hanuman or surya or you can listen to the sacred chants i already made so many videos about sacred chants and sound codes and i already told you guys which one you should listen which one you should not listen which one is very will be very important which will help in your activating your dna i already made videos about hanuman also so you can listen to Hanuman Chalisa also. I yesterday only I some some days before only I made yesterday only I made video about Hanuman during Hanuman Jayanti. So you can listen to all these videos and you can listen to all these things and you can utilize all the information which I'm providing and you can activate that sun's energy, fire energy within you. Okay. So you might all uh, there might be times where in during this period you can all um, you can see your past lives also where you are burned alive. Okay. You might feel the burning sensation why you are feeling intense heat why you are feeling that burning sensation within you so you might feel all those things all your past timelines gonna come up because you have to be ready for all these things all your past timelines where you were burned alive where you were named as witch okay where you were where they were zabardasti okay uh, forcefully doing the blessed sacrifice rituals or blood rituals or whatever it is or you might be shown some war timeline where you were intensely hurt and you were killed in some kind of a war okay in um, in my uh, personal timeline also my twin flames timeline also i started understanding why he was he got killed in certain kind of a war and why that had to happen and i i was crying a lot during that day when that timeline came up and when i got my own answers the, about why he got killed and what happened and all these things so all this war timeline gonna come up for healing okay onto the surface so there will be so much healing and clearing are gonna happen and all the fears whatever fears you have in your life okay and this Aries is also connected to Mooladhara Chakra the root chakra okay so whatever things are still there in your root chakra Mooladhara Chakra whatever things are still there whatever things which you still need to clear and heal okay all those things are also gonna come up you have to heal your Mooladhara Chakra you have to heal your root chakra and you have to make sure that you are balancing your root chakra during this april 19th to may 13th okay please focus mainly on root chakra and please focus what are what all things are coming to the surface your past timelines your root chakra fears okay all these things are gonna come up all the war timelines why things happened why they had to happen the way it had to happen you might find the reasons for for that timeline for in my case i already told that i got the reason why my twin flame got brutally killed in that timeline okay so all these things you you gotta uh, heal uh, from your you know all these things are gonna come up to the surface so that you can heal all these things and it's a great and wonderful opportunity to heal all these things and cleanse yourself and purify yourself and um, for, and get ready for the next level of awakening okay and all your karmas whatever the karmas are there in your past life present life all the things and the past timelines in the king and queen timelines all those things are, are also gonna come up if you have done something if you have done uh, some karmic thing uh, knowingly or unknowingly if you feel guilty about something all those things are also going to come up so your karmic imprints are also going to come up and the loops which you are there uh, why you are being in some loop you will get a reason or you might heal it or something might happen and you will understand you are uh, or you will have a realization that you are being in a loop okay so you might have a realization or you might find the solution for it or you might understand why things are happening in that way why you are stuck in a loop so all these things are going to come up and you have to heal your karma also okay 
where you have if you have any past life karma present life karma if you have any ancestral karma so you can heal all those things also during this time of april 19 to may 13 so this is a lot of time it's it's like almost one month okay so in this one month you can work really 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 very hard and you can cleanse all these things pu uh, purify all these things okay when you purify all these things you will get to a next level okay also in your incarnate identity whatever identity is with there okay in some part past timelines you might have incarnated in, in somebody else okay so all those memories are also going to come up so uh, see that if if you already know some incarnate identity of yourself you already know some identity of you uh, in some other timeline so uh, know their story what they are trying to teach you what the timeline or story is trying to teach you what the past life is trying to teach you do you have karma to clear in that past timeline do you have something you have to heal in that past time timeline maybe in some timeline you are born as a queen or a princess okay so in maybe in my past timeline i might have born as some princess okay and during that timeline i have to learn what i what all i have done and do i have something to clear and heal okay do i have some some for suffering in that timeline so do i have anything to clear and heal in that timeline so i will check all those things and i will heal all those things during this period of april 19 to may 13 so cleanse and clear all these things and fire is also connected to mars planet mars so you can so planet mars energy will also be active during this time of april 19 to may 13 so you can work with mars energy also planet mars energy mars is also again a fiery energy so you can uh, you can lessen the effects of planet mars so i don't know much astrology but uh, people will tell you uh, no like uh, this nakshatra this planet uh, effect is on you and you, this thing will happen you can check out all those things i don't know much astrology so i am not going into deeper of all these things but uh, something will be there no uh, if this planet is effect on you and these these things will be happen so so during this time from april 19 to may 13 mars effect will be there so you can do something which will lessen the effects bad effects of mars okay you can bring the uh, balance energy of mars okay you can uh, if you have any imbalance in the mars planetary position or in your in your chart or something like that you can try something to bring out the balance of that fiery energy you can balance this fiery energy okay you have to activate this energy and also you have to make sure that you are balancing this energy for me in my case i have i'm so much sometimes very much activated and i feel so many burning sensations on my skin and it is not uh, uh, physically visible but i i do have that burning sensations if i am if i'm too much activated it is very difficult for me to handle sometimes so um so what i'll do i'll make sure is that i'll try to ground myself a lot so if you're if you're somebody who is already too much activated like me so you can try grounding okay so those of you who are, who want to activate who those those people can do all the things which i have told just, uh, since uh, now since all this time okay so you can do all these things to activate yourself and those of you who are already feeling too much heat too much sensations too much activated like that you guys can ground yourself you can try to balance your energies out okay you have to learn how to balance your high vibration you have to learn how to bring balance in your life you have to learn how to control this fiery energy you cannot control mother kundalini it is impossible to control her okay it is impossible to control her but you can make sure that uh, it has less effect on your physical body because your physical body is important also right so your physical body cannot sometimes tolerate the too much of electricity transformer kind of a thing okay so it might um, feel pain okay it might feel hurt your physical body might go might go through suffering because of your own awakening so you are for so people like me okay you guys have to uh, balance yourself ground yourself as much as you can okay go uh, into nature okay drink a lot of water so because it is already fiery energy okay only water can balance fire so you can drink a lot of water you can drink juices and all these things and you can balance all the uh, all the, your fiery energy you can learn to stabilize that fiery energy yes you are activating the fire energy with Within you, you can, you are activating Ram's energy, Hanuman's energy, Shiva's energy uh, within you, and also Goddess Durga's energy is also um, fiery energy, and she is already she is also connected with Mars. Okay, planet Mars. There are some goddesses who are connected with planet Mars, Mars like Goddess Durga, Hanuman, Ram, and Shiva, and um, also Renuka, Goddess Renuka Yellamma. She is also connected to pla planet Mars. Okay, so if you want to balance your Mars energy, if you want want to balance the planet Mars's effect in your life, or if you want 
want to have benefits of mars uh, planet in your life okay some planets will give you some fr fruitful results right so you can access these gods you can connect with them and you can pray to them and your mars planet will be balanced in your uh, astrological chart and all those things and all the effects will be balanced it will be turned into a positive effects not the bad effects okay so you can work like that and ba balance your mars energy okay so you can cleanse and clear all these things which i have told already and you can cleanse and clear your unconscious mind subconscious mind because whatever things are coming up onto the surface you have to heal those things also you have to cleanse those things also so you can use affirmations i have already made so many affirmations video in my youtube you can go watch those and take take the benefit of those affirmations and you can write those affirmations you can listen to those affirmations daily i have already give so many tips on my channel about how to activate your dna how to access the sun energies how to activate uh, uh, your kundalini energy how to activate your dna you can watch all those videos for additional information for additional activations okay you can do all these things and for me what is happening right now is my uh, like bone blood and flesh all these things are clearing out okay cleansing out and purifying okay mother kundalini is purifying all these things within me so uh, sometimes those of you who are also going through all these kind of a things okay those of you who are, whose blood and uh, bone and flesh is getting cleansed out okay is getting purified so you guys might feel uh, uh, feel some body pains okay you might ca can uh, feel some body pains and bone pains like that and you might feel like why you are eating so much but still you are not having energy and why you are feeling some kind of a pain okay sometimes my some uh, suddenly my uh, pain in my hand will uh, happen and some 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 bone pain will happen without doing anything without getting hurt also sometimes i feel that uh, my hands are paining uh, okay bones in my fingers are paining something like that so if you are also going through something like that that means that kundalini is purifying your energy kundalini is purifying your physical body she is cleansing out your blood bone flesh uh, from all those distortions and she is bringing in those crystalline frequencies those high frequencies those divine frequencies within you so you are getting cleansed and clean and cleared out so nice right you are getting purified you are getting like you are becoming more and more divine so appreciate it acknowledge it okay be grateful for all these things that you are getting cleansed and purified and cleared and utilize the, the all this time this time is very important for your purifications if you have done all these things correctly if you are purifying yourself correctly uh, so it is a very nice chance to do your healing work in a work shadow work and it is the best time to do all these things and cleanse all these things out and when you purify all these things out when you purify yourself so naturally your dna will definitely activate there is no need to say it. it's a common sense right when you are cleansed when you're clean when you're purified so high vibrational high vibration will naturally flow to you right so all these things are there these are all the things which i wanted to say so thank you so much for listening to me till here thank you so much for all your love and support thank you so much keep working keep doing all these things and activate your dna thank you so much for all your love and blessings